What's up, guys? NFX, a.k.a. Old Man Reflex. Just for your information, Old Man Reflex is my Steam name. So if you play Rocket League, if you see me online, we could play. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about some issues with your pitch wheel and mod wheel on your MIDI controller. So basically, if you're in a position right now where your keyboard, uh, your piano keys on the MIDI controller are working, but your pitch wheel or your mod wheel are not working, this may be the video for you. In case you don't know what a pitch wheel and a mod wheel um, are, they're generally, oh, by the way, and your keyboard may not have them, they're generally located on the left side of the keys, of the piano keys, and uh, there may be one or two wheels that can move back and forth or up and down. Sometimes they're integrated into one part that does both. Uh, sometimes, most of the time, it's two parts. Okay, so if it's two parts, one of those wheels will snap back to a middle position when you move it. The other one, when you move it, will kind of rest in the position that you left it. Okay, so the one that snaps back to the middle is your pitch wheel. And the one that stays where you left it is your modulation wheel or mod wheel. And the pitch wheel is called the pitch wheel because it controls pitch. The mod wheel, however, can be programmed to control anything, really. So it would really be dependent on the plugin that you're using. For example, if you were using a brass section plugin, the mod wheel might be used to change, to slide between uh, articulations of the brass, you know, from a, a glide or a drop or a staccato or whatever. It might be used to just set that mode as you're playing to give it a more realistic feel. So in this video, I'm going to help you get that working if, if that's an issue for you. But uh, I'm really going to talk about pitch wheel. Okay, so first off, how do we know that the pitch wheel is not working? Well, there's a couple of ways of identifying the issue. The first one, uh, an easiest one, would just be to look up here in the status bar at this little indicator and then move your pitch wheel. I'm moving it upwards, downwards. I'm letting it snap back to the middle. And you can see it turns green, but there's a question mark in there. And uh, the question marks what you're looking at. I know green usually means something good, but in this case, it just means I'm getting a signal. But the question mark means I don't know what, what I'm supposed to do with it. Okay, so let's just fix that really quickly. We can go into the uh, browser, hit the little paper icon, which is to get into your current project settings. Go to remote control. And when you click that down, you should see... Uh, well, you should see three items there, but the ones we're interested in are, would be Omni Channel Pitch and Omni Mod Wheel. And in the Channel Pitch one, what you're going to do is just simply click it. This Remote Control Settings window appears, and then move your pitch wheel. Now what it has just done is it is connected to that pitch wheel. And if we move the pitch wheel and look at the Hint Panel, well, look, it looks different. There's a little red button indicating, I think that's MIDI. And then there's this check mark now that indicates, hey, I know what to do. Uh, we can con uh, connect the mod wheel in the same fashion. Go into the remote control, click on mod wheel, then your mod wheel. And if you ever hit the wrong thing, you can just go back in here, click and hit the right, the right knob or the right wheel. Uh, you can just correct it quite easily just by going back in. There's one more thing I need to show you guys. So when you have a plugin, third-party plugin, and when I try to bend the, the, the C note, it's bending, but not quite enough. It's not the same. Uh, here's the 3X. And here's my plugin. See, 
I don't know if you can hear it. There's like this slight pitch, pitch bend, but not enough. Uh, so how you would fix that would be to go here and do the uh, settings for the plugin. And down here in the MIDI section, you should see where it says send pitch bend range semitones. Click that and set this to whatever num from whatever number it is to two. Okay, and then you can go back to the plugin. Now I'm going to do the pitch wheel exactly the same as before. Then that matches now what, what the 3X oscillator sounds like. Exactly. So now I know it's bending to the right pitches. There you go. That's how easy it is to get it working. It was probably take longer for you to watch this video and actually do it. But I hope this video did help you. And if you, uh, if you found it useful, please uh, like and subscribe and let me know about it. Uh, if you want to know how to actually use the pitch wheel in terms of when to use it in your melodies and when you're playing, I'm going to show you that too, if you want to stick around. But if you don't, I understand, you know, solve your problem and, and hit that inspiration while it's hot. Do your thing. I hope you, uh, I wish you the best and hope you hit like and subscribe on your way out. That'd be cool. All right. So those of you who are sticking around, uh, let me just transition to part two and we'll take care of showing you how and when to use that wheel. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. So I'm going to try to keep this pretty quick too. So I hope that those of you who are here have a working knowledge of uh, scales, I guess. Uh, it could be modes, whatever, but basically that you know what notes are in the, are in the chord or in the scale that you want to play when you're playing. Uh, generally, you'll use the pitch wheel on single notes, not on chords. Okay. Um, well, you could use them on chords. Most commonly, it's used to add expression into a single melody. So instead of playing something like... Um, you could maybe play it with the wheel. And get a slightly different feel from it. Now I played it pretty straight, but you could wiggle the 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 the, the pitch. I don't know. You could just play with it is what I'm saying. It's great. So, but how do you know what notes you can do it with, right? Oh, it's getting to sound dirty. So the way you do it is if you recall, in a previous part, we talked about setting the semitones down here in the pitch bend range to two. Okay, so presuming you know the scale you're in, I presume you've probably seen uh, tutorials on the C major scale, which are basically the white keys on the piano keyboard generally sometimes they're inverted or sometimes you get a keyboard's different colors or whatever but generally and that would be starting on the c so if you look uh if you look on my plugin you'll see what what note i'm pressing on the keyboard so all those are a c major scale okay that's a happy sounding one. But how do you know which notes you can bend? It's very easy. By setting that to two uh, semitones, all you need to know is which of those notes are two semitones away from the other notes, right? So a C, if we count, you have to count the, uh, the notes in between, which means from a C to a D, you go C, right? A C sharp and D. So that's one, two, two semitones. That means if I push up on the mod wheel, it will go from this note to this note. But it'll, it'll slide up there. 
And if I let go, well, I, I let go a little late. But if I let go, it snaps right back to the C. So if I look at that pattern within that whole scale, I could tell you there's a lot of places you could slide up. You could slide up as I showed you there. You could even go from the C, uh, from the D to the E. You can go here from the F to the G, from the G to the A, from the A to the B. Now you could go backwards in, in, in those, from the B to the A, from the A to the G, from the G to the F, yada, 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 from the E to the D, then the D down to the, to the C. All those can be slid or pitch bent. That's just going in the upwards direction. You could also bend them down as long as the, 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 um, the note is in your scale. Now, we've obviously used the C major because it's one of the easier ones to work with. Those of you, by the way, who want to make music in a more dramatic or, or moody scale easily, use A minor. A minor is all the same notes. The only difference is you don't start on the C. You start on the A. See, already that sounds even more moody and dramatic than starting on the, on the C. That was starting on the C. Sounded happy. Starting on the A. Sounds a little darker. So anyway, if you move your playing down to there, the same rules apply. All you have to do is know is where those two semitone note differences are. And then you could just go. Play crazy little stupid stuff like that. So anyway, that's how easy it is. But you do have to practice to kind of get, just get a feel for the timing between the hands, both moving at the same time, uh, I, I definitely still struggle with pushing the note either fast enough or slow enough because sometimes you want a quick, a quick movement like um, something like that. But sometimes you might want to drag it out like. A lot of it depends on the tempo of your song and uh, what you're trying to accomplish with it. Um, yeah, so, uh, there you go. That's how you use the pitch wheel. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching my video. I hope, uh, you find it useful. I hope you like, I hope you subscribe also. It, uh, as everyone tells you, it helps out the channel and I believe them. I, I, I'm really just telling you that cause that's what I hear other people say, but I know, you know, it feels good to get subscribers, right? It feels good when people like your video. So. You know, hey, do it for me. There you go. And, uh, you know, if you guys do like this video or leave, leave me a comment uh, with any ideas of something you might want to see, I'd be very glad to uh, think about it. And if, if I can help in that domain, I will do my best. You know, if you have time, check out my uh, SoundCloud, soundcloud.com uh, slash warbeats. Um, yeah. Thanks again. I'll catch you guys in the next one.